I hope you guys had a good Labor Day weekend. You did? Yeah. Yeah, Americans got together to fire up the grill, grab a cold beer, and toss back some horse dewormer. Mm. <laughs> But don't worry about the anti-vaxxers being unprotected, because they have found a new drug that also does not protect them. It's called ivermectin, which is a horse dewormer. So you'll probably still get COVID, but on the bright side, you could win the Preakness. <laughs> Opponents say the science behind ivermectin is clear. In fact, we've been sent a demonstration of just how it defends your bloodstream from the virus. We've still got a lot of... Pandemwits out there. People are still taking this ivermectin. This poison, you know, the poison control centers have seen as this spike in calls from people taking this livestock medicine to fight the coronavirus, but they won't take the vaccine, which is crazy. It's like if you're a vegan and you're just like, no, I don't want a hamburger. Give me that can of Alpo instead. I gotta say, when I first heard that Fox News was pushing ivermectin, I knew it was gonna be bad, but I was not expecting it to be horse dewormer. Sounds like the name of a drug they give super soldiers in a Paul Verhoeven movie to turn them into robocops. You know someone at the company that made ivermectin once said, hey, should we put not for people on the horse pill labels? And someone else said, there's a picture of a horse on the bottle. It's fine. So, ivermectin is ineffective against COVID. And when used incorrectly, it can kill you. Worst of all, it tastes yucky. Luckily, the internet is loaded with advice on how to make it more palatable, including mixing it with jellies, or eating it as a sandwich, oh. or throw it on your roast beef. Technically, it is horsey sauce. <laughs> One commenter explained, I take it by hiding it in a banana. <laughs> is that what it's gonna take to get you accept actual medicine? In that case, can I interest you in a delicious banana? <laughs> Dr. Fauci said that if hospitals get any more overcrowded, they're gonna have to make some very tough choices about who gets an ICU bed. I don't, that choice doesn't seem so tough to me. Vaccinated person having a heart attack? Yes, come right on in, we'll take care of you. Unvaccinated guy who gobbled horse goo? Rest in peace, Wheezy. You're, that's, 